My name is Mariama Abuhari. I live in Tamale Centre. I'm the Vice President of Northern Region Association for the Deaf here. I'm school. I'm still a student. I want I'm an association member, both from the Northern and the District, Northern Regional District. So I know that most deaf people problem, most in the Northern District here, yeah, especially Tamale, Tamale Metro here, yeah, they face a lot of challenges in life, especially face education, certain employment. That's the two challenges they are facing. Instead, is the sign language, sign language interpreters in school. Most of them fall is the discriminated. It's a fourth challenge most deaf people face in this northern region here. When the deaf finish school, we're not able to continue the education because some of the community and the social have negative, negative attitude toward persons with disabilities. In school, the interpreters and language interpreters are very poor. Some people finish their school universities or Winnipeg, but when they come to the school, they're not able to communicate with the deaf people very well. That make their education very low through their guide to get future job. And third is a discriminator. Most in the community, they don't see the importance for education the deaf children. Last time, one action on disability, ADD, were living in Ghana here. There were support people with disability. And the regional executive have to go to the district to talk to the parents to send the children to school. Most of the parents are very poor. They say they have to get the money to pay the children fees and if they could not send their children to school. And mostly, Santa, one deaf person wants to go for a job. They talk about the communication barrier because the sign language interpreters had the deaf person in the head is the difficult for them. After that second education level, they, they still become poor. They cannot improve their education. And mostly the school teachers, we have applied the government that they should try to create awareness on deaf issues, especially sign language interpreters. They have to interest with their people, how to teach them to understand through their education. And we need special education for deaf person, mainstream education. Here are people are in class, deaf person is there, you do not have interpreter, how can they understand? That is the best way that government can do to change people's attitude. First, you should live in the education, you should start in the community level. When people, when parents understand the need of education that disabled children, they can also get freedom in their family. You yeah, have to thank you. Um, I now want you to talk about um, development in the North and democracy in elections. Yeah. Development in democratic elections. That means a deaf person must have access for everything. Access for education, access for employment, everywhere he finds. When the person has qualified or not qualified, the government must see that this person has the skills and they're qualified to work. They must welcome the person that can reduce the poverty in Northern Region. Thank you. Now I want you to um, talk about peace. Peace in Northern Region is very important. Sometimes I remember last four years, one the time for the conference through the election. Northern way they were fighting about the chistances. Some dead people were in town. They were sitting. They don't know what is happening. They just go, some people were using knife coming. They thought a soldier must come and arrest them. Because of the communication barrier, they sent them to police station. They asked them, we can't hear, we just go to town to search for something. And this is a fight. They people first they need peace. Something happened, they can't hear news, what is going on. And most Ghana television, there's no interpreters. So only Ghana broadcasts in GTV have only one interpreter. Interpreter to is very small. How can that person see that sign language? So that Ghana, we need peace. If not that, our brother and sister, something can happen to us. Thank you.
So now, last one, I want you to sign asking people to go out and vote. I want to say that now we get that our way, like that, that people must involve in anything in election. When the people come for the polling station for voting, the polling officer must not allow them to be join the queue. You should try to understand their issue. You should try to accurately try to accurate them to vote. Because voting is a right for every citizen in Ghana. Please go out and vote.